Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. So this is going to be a quick video with a few tips and tricks for your DJI Mini 2 in under 5 minutes, so let's do it. There are going to be times where taking off from the ground is not going to be possible. So learning to use your hand to take off and land can come in handy for those situations. Remember that your hand is not a landing pad, so extending it like this for most cases is not going to be safe. The way to take off is to grab the drone with your fingers, press the takeoff button, hold the drone up in the air and confirm takeoff on the controller. You are going to feel when the Mini 2 pulls up and that's when you should let it go. To land the Mini 2, you need to get the drone in position and then hover right above you. The way I like to do this is to grab the controller with my left hand. I pull the left stick down and I reach the drone with my right hand and I grab it with my fingers. Be careful not to land the drone on the palm of your hand, but most importantly, do not extend your fingers upward. If you're going to use an ND filter on the Mini 2, the best way to do it is when the drone is off. If you do it when it's on, you risk damaging the gimbal. I've been using the brand Freewell, and the way to install this is to place it on top of the camera like this, and then push down, making sure that the hooks on the filter are inside the camera vent. If you're not sure which ND filter to use, you can hold them in front of the camera to see what kind of exposure you are getting. Did you know that you can use your Mini 2 to record videos without actually flying it? Yes, it works. And the cool thing about this is that you can take advantage of 4K videos where the gimbal is going to be working. Not something to use every day, but you never know when you might need it. It's always a good idea to set the return to home altitude when you get to a new location. And you have to make sure that this altitude is higher than the highest tree, building, or obstacle around there. If you select the return to home command or the Mini 2 starts this for whatever reason, you don't want any obstacles between the Mini 2 and the home point. When you activate the return to home, you can control the orientation and the camera tilt of the Mini 2 when it's flying back. This means that instead of flying forward towards the home point, you can slowly rotate the drone to get a few last minute shots. You can also do this as many times as you want if you need some kind of autopilot assistance where you're doing this on purpose and not necessarily when the battery is about to die. There are going to be times where you can't see where your Mini 2 is up in the sky. If this happens and you need to fly back, you can open the map where you're going to see the drone and its current orientation. This dot over here is where you are and you're going to see two lines. The blue one will show you the path that the drone took and the red one is a straight line between you and the drone. So if you want to fly towards yourself, just rotate the Mini 2 towards you and fly using the red line as a reference. It's always a good idea to carry a power bank like this one. It is light and small and it will let you charge your battery between flights when you're out there filming. Another related idea is to get an extra battery. You know, more batteries, more flight time, more fun and it's only about $50 each. The Mini 2 has a quick transfer system where you can download your videos and pictures from the Mini 2 to the smartphone at high speeds and you don't even need the controller. Just press and hold this button at the bottom of the Mini 2 until it turns blue. Make sure to have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on your smartphone and open your DJI Fly app. Press connect and then join and you're ready to go. If you're going to use quick shots, the default resolution is set to 1080p, so I highly advise to always double check this and manually change it to 4K if necessary. On the controller, if you press and hold this button, the Mini 2 will return to home. If you single press this button, it will do an emergency brake which is going to stop the Mini 2 right away from whatever task it's doing, for example, during a quick shot. And if you are just flying, this will make the Mini 2 stop faster than just letting go of the controls. The camera on the Mini 2 is always going to have a straight horizon. If you want to try something different, you can set the camera to FPV mode. And this will let the camera follow the movement of the Mini 2 and this way you can create different kind of videos. Something that happens more often than you think is that we forget our SD cards at home. So a good practice is to always carry a spare one on your backpack 
or on the drone carrying case. Oh, and when it comes to micro SD cards, choose one from a well-known brand like Sony, Samsung, SanDisk. Time's up, but if you like this video, please give me a like. I hope you have an amazing day. My name is Otto and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.